Well, you would think that if you were to see a video of, you know, a bunch of people on an airplane singing praises to God, you might think, this is pretty cool. Like, I could get behind this. I mean, we're always seeing all sorts of fights on planes and everything like this, and something different going viral for a change, right? In a positive way. But not everybody feels that way. And one of those individuals is Rep Omar. You guys know who Rep Omar is, and well, she had some very interesting things to say about the viral video going around. We're going to get into all of that here in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, remind you guys real quick, if you're able to make a generous donation here to my ministry to help support my content, make an end-time Bible prophecy headlines, you can click my link to PayPal. It's in the description, or you can sign up on my Patreon, just five bucks a month when you do that. You will get alerted for all of the new content that I produce because YT barely pushes notifications out anymore. You can also comment completely censorship-free, send me direct messages, and don't forget, these videos also go out on my Rumble, so make sure you give me a sub there. It also serves as a backup in case I get the boot off YT, so you might want to get in the habit of checking me out there from time to time. All those links down below. Big, big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. So, this is pa Pastor Jack Jentz Jr. He is over Kingdom Realm Ministries. And this was from a flight that took place on April the 9th. This was an EasyJet flight. And the video going around was titled, Worshiping Jesus 30,000 Feet in the Air. And this video has garnered so far like over 30 million views. And during the video, you have... Members here of his congregation, they are singing worship songs to God. Again, a nice change. Usually when you get these viral videos that come out from flights, it's people fighting and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. You guys know this. But that wasn't the case this time. And for Pastor Jack and his team, they were actually uh, heading on a, a ministry trip to Europe to help out with uh, the Ukrainian refugees. So this video goes around, and as many people were praising it, saying how wonderful it was, well, Rep. Omar was not so happy. In fact, had put out a bunch of tweets, and one of them that garnered a lot of attention was a tweet that she put out after watching this video that said, you know, I wonder if me and my family, the next time that we're on a flight, should have a prayer session as well. I wonder how that will end up. Now course people are referencing that what she's trying to poke out here is the fact that well this would somehow resemble events that took place on September 11th and then they would be hit with all sorts of backlash so why should these Christians be allowed to sing on board a flight because if she tried to engage in something similar with members of her family, well, they would be looked upon as, you know, enemies and this, that, and whatever. And you know what I'm referencing here. And this got tremendous pushback from people on social media, criticizing her of everything from Christian phobia and asking her, what is the actual purpose that you have serving in Congress? When all you do is stir this junk up every chance you get. And by far, this is not the first time that she has been involved in religious controversy as it, you know, as it pertains to coming out against either Christians or against Jews. I mean, look, she can't help herself. We know what this individual is all about. You know, even some of them that made comments uh, on here even mentioned, you know, what she said about September 11th, when she made those comments about how some people did something. Remember that back in 2019? Yeah. So this, and the reason this got her so much, and let's just be clear about this. When she's sitting here watching this, you got to imagine she's sitting back watching this video and you got all these people here from the ministry and they're praising God and they're singing praises. It, it eats at her on the inside. Why? Because you see, she does in fact hate Christians with a passion. But not just that, she hates God with a passion. She has been trained that way. 
from a very young age to not just hate the country, America, no, no, but God and his people, those that follow him. There is a deep burning hatred that is inside of this individual that she cannot contain. This is somebody that is totally and completely directed by the enemy himself. And you know who I'm referencing when I say the enemy. And there is coming a time. See, all of this is just a little bit of a sneak preview of what's to come. Because the devil himself would watch something like this and it would make him cringe. So if it makes him cringe, well, of course, it's going to make Omar cringe, right? Why wouldn't it? They're, in fact, one and the same. They share the same beliefs. But there will come a day when Christianity itself will not maybe, will be outlawed. Not only will this sort of thing not be allowed onto a flight, but you won't even be able to utter the words Jesus Christ in public without fear of, well, persecution is not a not the proper word to use, but I think you get where I'm going with that. All of these individuals will eventually serve the Antichrist himself, people like Omar, who will welcome him onto the scene with open arms because they will be against, well, the Antichrist will be against Christians and Jews. And, well, we know what's to come of Israel and everything there uh, when we get to that point in time. So this is sad. You got someone like Omar, again, has so much hate buried deep down inside of her. Look, God's will is that none should perish. You know you know that for every individual that is born under this world, God had a plan and a purpose for them, even someone like Omar. It didn't go the way that it was supposed to. Now, could she turn? She could. Paul did it. Is it likely? It doesn't look like it. A lot of these people have already made the decisions that they're going to forever stand against God. And that's very risky when you're willing to throw your eternity out there like that and know that ultimately, well, separation from God, eternal separation from God should be something that should frighten every single individual. Not so much of watching Christians singing praises unto God on an airplane. But for these people, they don't believe that this sort of future awaits them. They'll be in for a rude awakening if they don't change soon. Now, I'll put more on this down below in the description. You guys can read it for yourself. And again, we're in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. If you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, I offer this on every video that I do. Whether people want to accept it or not, whether they stop the video at this point or not, I don't know. That's up to them. But for those that continue to watch, this is for them. If you'd like to accept Jesus Christ in your heart today, I'd like to lead you in this prayer. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. But let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid that cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again. A child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys. As I mentioned down below, you can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.